Welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to make some hooks for the curtains that I dropped on the floor the other day. Welcome to Warp Legacy. So I could just get some fresh stock to do this, but I've got all kinds of these hooks laying around. I got all kinds of them that I screwed up. All they are is they go around 4x4 four four and hang like this. This one I use all the time is my tripod. It's actually a monopod. Just has a really big bottom. And these hooks also fit like this. Um, I could just leave them like they are, but I want something slightly fancier for my curtain hanger, so I'm actually just gonna take two of these and straighten them out. I could make two out of one, but I don't want to. I'm just gonna take a couple of these, straighten the end out, put a tape around the end, do a little curl, make another hook, and then make something so I can mount it to the wall. So let's get some steel hot! Now, if you notice, this is not the coal that I normally use. This is bituminous coal that I got from Roy from Christ Centered Ironworks. And this video that you're watching now as a time lapse will be coming out later as a standalone video in a series that I'm doing with Roy about different forge fuels and using them in different forges. <laughs> So this is what we ended up with. This is exactly, stupid shadow. The position of the light I installed is horrible for filming right here. So this is the first hook I made. It is exactly what I wanted it to be. Actually I made them both at the same time. And this is the other hook. It's mostly what I wanted it to be. For some reason I stretched that out way farther than I meant to. Everything else is fine. It's, they're, the hook and everything is, is basically as close as I've ever gotten to hooks before like that. But that is just ridiculous. Anyway, let's get these things inside. I've already got, I've already got them uh, finished. Let's get them inside and hang them up on the wall so I can put the curtains up. All right, welcome back to me and my wife's bedroom. Got our hooks. I've got some of this pulled off here so I can mess with it without completely blinding you like I did last time. I have just a little piece of the black pipe so I can see, make sure I can get it in here. Because we want these to mount really high because even when they're touching the ceiling, they're still touching the floor because they're actually longer than they should be. So what I'm going to do, take a couple of loops here, put that in there. Kind of hold it up where I want it. I want that just barely touching the ceiling. Height wise, I want the hook right there. Guarantee you can't see that because I can barely see it. So now, we're next to a window. So on both sides of the window, as long as my construction knowledge is correct, there should be a uh, stud going right next to the window all the way to the top here and right next to the window all the way to the top here and just to check that we got a stud finder so let me just make sure this thing works found the stud should be that side of the stud okay so this should be stud Now that one I'm pretty solid, it sure feels like a stud. Hi. Dinner's ready. Oh, okay. No, I'm not gonna worry about getting this exact 
gonna kind of eyeball it. Oh, come on. I can reach it. Yeah. All right, now there's not much for you I can do now to stop from blinding you. It shouldn't be as bad as last time, simply because it's not as bright outside, but we'll see what happens. Are you totally blinded this time? Let me check the camera. Not completely, but there. No, that's too much. That's somewhere in between, I think. Here's what you missed last time that I thought was ingenious. I took these, those are stuck together good, and I did this. All right. Put that there, that there. Now I can take these ones that were on there before. I can put them down here. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. Now, I think it'd be better if my hooks were out here a little farther. Um, they're good for right now, but I think I might actually go take the hooks down and just give them a twist. So instead of coming straight out of the wall, this one goes off this way, and that one goes off that way a little bit. That way it'll just widen the area that they cover. Because right now, this is just right in line with just barely the edge and it'd be nice if it came out to like there but if i do that then i'm covering up the hook i made i'll probably talk to my wife about it and we'll do whatever she wants i think this stuff looks pretty good though thank you for visiting warp legacy if you like this video hit that like button and let me know in the comments and if you haven't done it yet hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notification and if you like what we're doing here at warp legacy head on over to our patreon page and show us some support there it's extremely appreciated and we've got at least one very short patron only video coming out well that's all we got now until next time i'm tuan go define your legacy hold up i got one more thing to tell you i'm doing something slightly different with this video I'm uploading a second video alongside it that has almost every single hammer blow that I made while making both of these hooks. It's not quite everything because I forgot to turn the camera on while I was straightening and tapering the first hook and there's a, there's a few uh, adjustments at the vise that aren't in there. But other than a few minor exceptions, this is every time the hot steel was at the anvil.